And Valentine's Day is simply about the expression and gratitude for how much you care and love for someone. So I thought we'd have fun today um, and really focus on not just the word love, but how we can take the word and the use of hearts, because obviously Valentine's Day is about the heart that you see, candy hearts, candy, um, candy, little candy, um, with the little ones that say, say that be mine, I love you forever. Um, it's fun and Cielo came home from school yesterday. Um, she does a pod now, she's in for like just two hours in class and she came home with her Valentine's Day cards and her little treats from her friends. And I remembered, gosh, I used to do that when I was a kid. So the tradition of Valentine's Day seems to be very consistent, um, making sure people know that you really do care about them and you really love them and like them and want to make sure that they're happy. So I hope that I can bring some smiles to your face and begin to create some crafts with you today. I believe you all have your supplies in front of you and we're going to start with that picture frame. I think the picture frame started out as a basic wood frame and if we can actually maybe bring up the spot view spot view and see all of them for just a second i know that um all of you i hope had a chance to paint your frames in the color of paint or the mixture of colors um i just want to see how they did angela and see if okay. they got a chance to really dive into making their frames special i made it gallery but david you might have to switch it on yours as well um, Just go to the upper right corner and click on view and then gallery. Oh, wow, guys. These look awesome. I see we have some glitter too. Penny did glitter. Oh my God, look at their faces. That's so awesome. Oh, I love it. Wow. I like the combination. So Lucia and Danielle, it looks like you took your colors and you made a really bright pink. Oh, and look at Nate. Nate and I like Paul. how everybody's the star of their own frame. Yes. <laughs> I need to clip shots of this. If everyone can do that, I'm going to take some snapshots. Look at that. Really fantastic. A lot, of, a lot of pinks there. I guess everybody figured out how to mix their red and white. Yeah. Backdrop. Good job, guys. So, like, this is really the the essence of the idea, which is you create really anything that you want. I see glitter around pennies. Um, I just see the combination of color, which is beautiful, but we're going to bring this even down to a 3D version. We're actually going to bring this to life with adding hearts and a lot of different things. So I'm so happy you guys got a chance to paint your frames because I know it took a little bit of time. Um, so let's start with a couple of, of details. The first thing, I noticed that you also removed any backing that was on the frame, which is fantastic. Thank you. Um, and there's a very important reason for that. But let's sort of, let's get our hearts out. Do you have your wood hearts? If you can grab your wood hearts, here, I've got a bowl of them here. We can go over to the overhead, Angela, would be great. Okay, spotlight for everyone. So you see all the wood hearts, right? You have all the wood hearts that I have too? Oh yes, they're all holding them up. Just lay them out. Hopefully you put some craft paper down or newspaper or towels or something on the surface so we don't paint and make a bigger mess after we're done. Um, but push your, your hearts out. I would say maybe max 18 of them, minimum 12 of them. And you can take them, just scatter them out. I already poured some white and some red, um, paint into these containers, little just little vessels for you to be able to not make a mess. Um, red and white in one, and I have water in the other one, so you can begin to um, create perhaps patterns and different shades by how you intensify the white versus the, the red. So you should have your um, paint brushes as well. I have three different thicknesses in the width of the, brush, the, br the brushes. And that's just for you to be able to do different designs and how you choose to work with it. So let's start to paint our, our um, hearts. You only have to do one side. So we're gonna paint your hearts and have fun with it. Uh, what I started to do when I began um, the process of doing my version of my hearts is I actually took the red first and I began to just paint probably six of my hearts a solid red. 
And I'm gonna give you a little trick. You could take the tip of the, one of the brushes you're not using just to hold down the heart so it doesn't start sliding around. So I painted one red. You guys can keep painting them different colors. But I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and just paint one side on six of the hearts in red. Now think of it as a first layer. You know, like when, a, when an artist paints their masterpiece, think about it, they start with a pretty much a canvas, right? A white canvas. And they start to layer, they start to layer the different colors and abstracts and then they step back and they let it dry and then they add another color, a bit of color. And sometimes they actually paint over the whole piece and start all over again. And the layering of it begins to sort of come to life. That's what you're kind of doing here. I think of each one of your frames is perhaps someone that different that you love in your own head. Maybe one heart is for your grandmother. Maybe one heart is for your sibling. Another heart, maybe a heart's for your doggy or a cat or whatever pet you might have. So I got four done here. I'm going to switch over to taking a heart and doing it with white, painting it with some white. Now the white takes a couple coats because you're dealing with a very light color as the base, which is the heart. So just be slow on the white. Can you see that? Let me get my end here. You could do all white if you want, by the way. You don't have to do all red and white. I'm gonna do another one in white. How's it going, everyone? They are all working very hard, very focused, painting their hearts. Yay. There we go. So let's have a little bit of fun while you're continuing to paint the red and the whites because I have a lot of mine already pre-done to show you how they would look after it gets dried and detailed. This will dry fairly quickly, much quicker than your frames are or your frames did. Um, but I'm gonna take a little bit of red here. If you know what, I'm gonna take the smaller brush, the smallest brush, brush with the least amount of space or thickness, I should say. I'm gonna take a little bit of that red on the white, one over here. And I'm just gonna add some stripes into it. Now it starts to look a little bit like a candy cane. So it starts to look like Christmas, but the more you do this, you're giving it some texture. Do you see that? Oh yes, it's very neat. And you can add like a boom, just a red right there. You can do anything. One of the things I did, which I had fun with, I'm, I'm sure maybe some of you know Jackson Pollock. Do you know the artist Pollock, right? He painted with taking his paint brushes and splattering the paint all over his canvas. So think about that. Don't do that in your house, by the way. <laughs> Take an extra amount of white and let it drip on your red heart. You'll see what I did with my frame that kind of adds to the theme of it. There we go. Anybody have any hearts they want to show me that they've started to finish? Oh, it looks like London. I'm going to spotlight him with, hey. with you real quick. There we go. You want to show your hearts? Um, we're not done. I, I got part of it done. Yeah, I got mine. I'm what? making, I'm making, I'm going to make a black and red one. Like, I'm going to make a speckled one. Yeah, and we're going to make speckled ones. Yeah. Very cool. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like, Shamira wants to, Shamira, did you want to share? Well, it looks like she changed her mind. 
It's fun because when you're painting with this particular medium, this kind of paint, you can actually decide to change it completely right while you're doing it. <laughs> and you can just paint right over it and start all over again. And you can kind of take a brush that doesn't have any paint on it and then lift it up by sort of stroking through the paint. And you'll see the bottom of the color. That's the first layer you dig will, will come up, which is kind of nice and fun. Um, I'm just gonna keep going along. And as we continue to paint these, they will dry probably by the time we're done with our time together. There we go. So I'm gonna let you continue to do this. This is gonna take you the longest amount of time today that we're together. There's no rush. I just wanna make sure you get at least 12 to 18 and 12, a perfect dozen is great. Oh, Penny has her heart up. How pretty is that? Oh, here. Where's Penny? Let me find her. Oh, let's see. Let's spotlight Miss Penny. Oh, yes. Let's see, Penny. That's cool. That is cool. It goes from light to darker. How cool is that? I can't see her. Uh, it looks we spotlighted her. Looks like a sunset. You might have to go to. There we go. Let's see. Oh, Jason okay. and Ryan have theirs up too, Angela. Oh, okay. There's Jason and Ryan. All right, let's see. There we are. Spotlight. Oh, wow. That looks That's awesome. great. Oh, cool. It really looks good. David, if you want to hold any of your special hearts up to your overhead cam, that would also help. They're kind yeah, of small. Absolutely. So you've got, can you see that? Oh, yeah. yes. Just shaded with predominantly red with a little bit of white. That was the first coat. And this is white with just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of red on there and the paint on my fingers. <laughs> and this one, it's funny because the one that I did with the splattering of the paint looks, because anyone can think of a character that this looks like who wears this look? Yep. Who does it look like? Mickey Mouse? Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. <laughs> Here's a skirt just like that. It's fun when you add the, the little bit of texture. So I'm gonna keep going on the last couple that I have, but I'm gonna show you, once they start to dry, let, let, please, if anyone has one that starts to feel as if it is almost dried, and by the way, a trick to keep it from drying, a, a trick to make it dry quickly is to keep stroking, don't put new paint on, but keep stroking with your brush because then it will actually begin and help to allow it to dry faster. So I wanna show you some fun things to do. I have a series here, keep it, don't worry, keep, keep painting your, your hearts. I'm gonna shift the ones here that are drying and put them to the side. And I'm going to show you the ones that are already done. I did them a little earlier today. So they are ready for me to add some detail to it. You all have a white paint pen probably, right? Yes, they all got one. Right. If you haven't worked with a paint pen before, they're really easy. Shake them really, really, really good. And then just dab the tip of your paint pen when we're ready onto some paper. So the paint sort of comes down to the tip of the pen. You don't want to push too hard because if you push too hard, a lot of paint comes out of the paint pen and it gets really messy. So you want to be really delicate with the paint pen and it'll allow you to do different things with it. So here is my... Let me put this out for you so you can see it better. These are my 18 done ones. I have a slight, can you see the slight white on that one? Mm -hmm. Slight white, stripe of red and white, a lighter version of it here. It's so pretty. I have a predominant amount of red intentionally, so they all look the same. Another one in a stripe. 
more red. There we go. Now, what do we do with them? I'm going to now just show you, keep painting away, my paint pen. So remember the tip of the paint pen, that's where we need the paint to get to from the inside of the vessel. And if you look at my construction paper here, right here, you just dab that way, see how it comes out heavy? You don't want that. And that's gonna make a big, big, big mess. So what you wanna do is just do a little bit over there. Then you can start to, I'm gonna write, I'll write love here. I'm just playing around with getting comfortable with your paint pen. So when you're ready to grab your paint pen, write your name, um, draw a heart, do some circles. Just test it and play around with it. I want you to get comfortable with the paint pen. Do some stars. Um, do um, love is love. You can say different sayings and get really comfortable and start to do it as little as you can, as small as you can. Write some letters, just really small. Get smaller, get comfortable with it. There's a reason why I want you to get comfortable with the delicacy of the paint pen to the surface you're writing on. If you wanna do script, you can do script. So if anyone has any dry hearts, um, raise your hand or show, show me that you have it and I'll show you what to do and how to do it with your dry hearts. Angela, the Florins have some dry hearts. They had their hand raised. Okay, Florins. Thank you, Jan, for keeping an eye on that. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Ah, there they are. What are some of, does any, anyone know some of the sayings you get on candy during um, Valentine's Day? Can you think of one? Be mine. Brian knows one. Be mine. Be mine. Perfect. See, now remember I was telling you to, to find a way to make little teeny little letters. Oh. What I want you to do is, let's try this together. Who's on, who said that, by the way? I think Ryan. that. Ryan and Alex. Ryan and Alex. All right. Ryan and Alex, take your paint pen and it get, listen, if you make a mistake, you got plenty of hearts and you can do it over again. But I'm going to try to do this close up for you. It's going to be hard for me to do it that way. Um, I'm going to write B. Mine. I did it without being on my surface, so it was a little tough. But be mine. We're turning our little wood hearts that we painted with paint and using a paint pen into now our candy. These are our little candies that are going to go around the detail of our picture frame. So you could do be mine. You can do, I love you. You can write love. You can write whatever you want. You can actually even do, so you can take your paint pen and you can just maybe do stripes. And make it look a little modern like that. Very neat. You can even take your red and draw circles. Remember we did circles earlier, I was showing you how to do the circles of the paint pen. You can now make it look like a polka dot pattern. And now you have another design.
You can even do a little bit of, this is a little harder to do, but you can do a stitching around the perimeter of the heart. So now it looks like a heart that's been stitched on. Look at that. And the paint pen dries very quickly. I remember as you guys are doing this, I, I was just thinking as I was creating this, I remember, gosh, for Valentine's Day. So my mom, which she used to, she loved Valentine's, she loved all holidays, but Valentine's Day was fun for her because she loved to sit down with us and create individual Valentine's Day cards to our classmates. And then we always did something special for our teacher. And I remember that my mom always, she was um, always like the head of the PTA or the head of the class. And she loved to make with us as her, her children for each of our, each of our classes, we made the Valentine's Day boxes. Does anyone remember making Valentine's Day boxes? Shoe, we used to use a shoe box and cut a slice on the top and decorate it with tissue paper and with paints and with wrapping paper. So we would bring it to school and the kids would put the Valentine's Day cards in it leading up to Valentine's Day and we open it on Valentine's Day in class. Um, it was funny because our, our daughter Cielo, um, very funny story to share with all you guys, our daughter Cielo, and keep painting your hearts by the way and keep doing your details with your paint pen right now. Um, they asked because of COVID, they asked to um, only send uh, cards in a baggie seven days ahead, no names on it, just say it's from your daughter and we'll hand them out to all the children. So we, we listened very carefully. We wanted to make sure that we weren't breaking any rules, right? So we went to pick up Cielo on Friday and she came, she came into the car um, and she had a, a bag about this big. And I said, Cielo, what, what's in your bag? She goes, oh, it's all my Valentine's Day cards and candies and all the things that all the parents did with their kid. I felt I was so upset because that's all the stuff I wanted to do, but nobody read the read the note from the school and everyone just oh, did, did no. this And I was so, I felt so bad for Seattle. So what we're doing tomorrow, <laughs> and I really was, I, I was crushed because that's what I did with my mom. And I thought this is what we're supposed to do, but we were told not to. So it's okay. I, I understand, sort of. Um, <laughs> so... Tomorrow, we, uh, two of Ciela's classmates who are in her a pod of five children, um, two of her kids, we invited them over with the, obviously their parents' um, approval. They're gonna sit outside um, and do a two hour Valentine's Day picnic. So after I'm done with you guys today, I have to go and do cookies and cupcakes and I'm gonna make heart uh, sandwiches and. Um, I just I wanted to make sure that they did something that, that felt unique and special. So sometimes the simplest things like we're doing right now or just bringing two kids together with the classmates can really change the energy of how you feel. So I just want to remind you all that Valentine Day is as equally as special as every day, but just feel like you really acknowledge the love and gratitude that you have for, for everyone. So that's, that's what we're doing tomorrow after my, my disappointment of this of the class. <laughs> Now, I yes, but you did not have a parent fail. The other ones had a parent <laughs> fail. They didn't follow yeah. True. Very true. Yes. Very true. You were following the rules. Now I tried. I, 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 I read those notes like I diligently and I want to make sure that I'm stepping up to the plate and I feel like, you know, at that moment, perhaps nobody else paid much attention, but oh. it's okay. <laughs> so how are the kids doing? How are we doing with them? Um, Look like look busy. Know. If anybody has any questions or anything, now's your chance to ask. You can unmute yourself. Um, this is a good point where you can ask David for any questions or help. I do see a lot of thumbs up though. I wanted to show you my hearts because I'm kind of proud of them. Oh, oh let's Meg. See. All right, hold on, Meg. Let me track you down. Okay. <laughs> I only get this bar on top, too. so it's fun trying to figure out where everyone is. I see Gabby's too. That's great, Gabby. Here's Meg. There. I got a tic tac toe oh. heart. Oh, sorry, that's Wait, Kyle. I see if I can figure out how to show this because it doesn't like turn around. So, 
Um, there they are. Oh, oh wow. Let's stay on that and see that for a second. That would look great. I wrote um, XOX and then I love you. And <laughs> Dad, go away. <laughs> go away. Um, uh, and like some pink, but these ones right here, I took the bottom of the brush and like swirled around paint so it looks like tie dye. It does, I love that. For the polka dots, I took the bottom of the brush. So that's what I did. Good job, <laughs> All right, let's see. If you want me to spotlight you so we can see your work, unmute yourself and tell me your name. I saw Nate wanted something. Hold on, Nate. Mm -hmm. I, I want to share one. There's Nate. Travis. Oh. Okay, Travis, hold on one minute, hon. Um, I this is my favorite heart I'm proud of so far. It it's kind of like me, but big spots and then little spots. That's cool. Very cool. That's really cool. Good job. All right, Travis, I'm coming for you. Give me a minute to find you. You know, some of the best things I learned when I'm designing for, for work, for parties and for anything are often from children because they see things with a different set of eyes. So all of the hearts that you guys have showed me so far, Nate, that was awesome. Um, and Travis, I can't wait to see yours. But right, Travis. You have a different detail. And I loved even the other one with the spiral that looked like tie-dye. That was a great idea. That's okay, awesome. Travis, hold yours up. There you oh, go. Real close, Travis. There you go. There. Nice. Cool. Thanks, David. This You're is really fun. Welcome. Oh, good. I love how it looks. Lucia um, and Danielle have theirs up, Angela. Okay, and then Ryan wants to share. So you said who, Jan? Lucia and Danielle. Okay. Um, Angela, if you want to make me a card, I, I can help. This, do um, that this for one's you. mine. Yeah, you find them, Dave, and then I'll do it. Hold on, <laughs> girls. Here we go. This one's mine. Oh, cool. And these nice. ones are mine. And my name is Lucia, not Lucia. Lucia, I love that you corrected your name and you should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. I see Tommy everyone. holding his up. Uh, the ET. Oh, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Sure. Get close. There it is. Awesome. Uh, what, is, what does it look like? Stop moving. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice. How did you make it, Tommy? I made it just uh, in Oh, you used a sponge brush. I love that. <laughs> All right, Ryan, you wanted to show yours? For one second, Ryan and Alex. White, red. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Hold it up a little. And it has some glitter. I see Ryan's key, and I see the other Ryan's. We have two Ryan's. The other Ryan's heart. That's cool. Good job. Very neat. <laughs> Oh, we'll tell you what the key's for, Ryan. Just hold on to it for a while. Yep, hold on a little bit. Last thing. All right, David, back so, at it. I think you all should have received a file where you printed this. Yep, they all got one. Awesome. Yeah, so I got a hard copy. Perfect. If you have this, what I do need you to do right now with either yourself or if you've got a parent next to you or an adult that can help you, take your scissors and I want you to literally just cut out the white. We only need the white section. We're going to cut it twice and I'll explain to you why in a second. Um, does anyone know what that is? All right, London, go ahead and unmute yourself. You want to say? Well, it looks like a keyhole. Yeah. No, no, perfect. Oh, and, and by the way, um, she's a girl and I'm a girl and I'm Adelaide and she's London. Yeah. Hi, guys. I made my heart. So if we can all now together cut out the white, we're going to lose the black and just keep the keyhole. And thank you for figuring out exactly what that is. 
And this is not your final version. So if you accidentally don't do a perfect cut on this, it is okay. We're going to use the one we're cutting out right now to trace it onto something else. And if you're not up to this step yet, or if there's someone in the room that can cut this while you're continuing to paint your hearts, that's totally okay. Let's say it looks like most are at cutting the keyhole out. Great. Yes. And there's a story behind all of this, okay? David, have you gotten a special love t-shirt yet? Hmm, no. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, oh. it gotta look cool like this. Oh, from the bonfire site. Oh, can I see that shirt again? Jan and Olivia are both wearing it. Hold on, let me pin Spotlight Olivia real quick. Ta -da. I, uh, I love that shirt. That is awesome. I see Jan now wearing the same one. Angela, are those for sale? So we use, on a little side note, um, we partner with Bonfire, which is a website, and we do these campaigns. So Lizzie, who works with us, who's awesome with doing our designs, designs them, and then Bonfire puts it on the clothing we pick, and then they go on sale for a, a period of time, and then they close. But we're kind of cycling back through some old ones. Oh, good. Let me know when, okay? Yes, definitely. Okay. All right. So once you have your keyhole cut out, this is your trace pattern. Now, do you all have a wonderful, wonderful piece of silver glitter paper? Oh, we know they do. Yeah, makes a mess. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so here's your silver paper, right? So this is my favorite thing of all. I thought um, my girls were gonna flip out when they saw this. They thought it was wallpaper for the room. And I was like, <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. All right. so. Take your silver paper. You need not even a close amount of all of this. So save it for something special in the future because it's very cool. Um, turn it upside down. So use the back side, which is the white side. And take your keyhole. And now take a pencil and go close to the corner. Don't do it in the middle. Don't allow yourself to save that for something in the future. So go towards the corner. You can, can you see my aerial? Yes, I'm actually going to take you off direct so we're just be, uh, seeing your uh, aerial. Great. So with a pencil, just trace out the keyhole onto the back side of the silver glitter paper. And this is going to allow you then to now cut it. Because the silver glitter side is obviously going to be the finished side that you're going to see in your final crafting project. Remove this. You can see my trace lines. And now yourself, or if there is an adult nearby with a scissor to cut this, it's the same cutting. It's a little harder because this paper is much thicker. To make it easier, I typically cut this now off to remove the large piece of paper I'm working from and it's easier access to move your hands with. And sometimes if you put your two fingers like this and you're cutting, it helps you move your scissors even better. Just a little trick. And it helps it when you're doing the round curves. Everyone's still very focused. Good. That's great. Almost everyone's on this step. Yay. Shamira, I noticed you have a little hands up. Did you have a question? 
Go ahead. Question? Oh yeah, I had a question about the um the marker and then they wanted to show their hearts. This Logan and Reagan. Oh, okay. Let's see. Go ahead. Hi. Hello, let's see your hearts. Oh. Oh, hey. let me see that again, please. Those look awesome. It's like wallpaper. Oh. Mm -hmm. cool. And your fingers look just like David's fingers. <laughs> All right, and then the other question was how you use the um the marker. It's not coming out. So don't, don't go ahead. Do you take it because mine already has been used, so it came right out. Take the uh -huh. marker and just keep dabbing, 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 dabbing because the paint is at the bottom of the marker and it's okay. going to saturate the tip. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're welcome. So now that we've got our hearts that are drying, the designs that you created to, cre to create detail of your hearts, um, I'm gonna show you my picture frame. I didn't actually finish my picture frame intentionally. Um, it was part of the design that I wanted to do. Um, and you'll see two versions. I have this version as one, and then my finished version that I had done a couple weeks ago to prep for our crafting time together um, I did the Pollock concept, the splattered paint around the whole frame. I'll show that to you at the end. But now what we need to do is take your picture frame that you pre-painted and turn it upside down. Backing was taken off. And what I want you to do now is take your red construction paper, which I believe you all have, right? So take your red construction paper and I want you to cut it into an eight by 11 piece, eight by 10, excuse me, eight by 10. So what you need to do is measure eight by 10, eight up, 10 across, and we're gonna cut that. To save you guys a little bit of time, and we have no rush on any of this, you will reduce it down to a much smaller piece. That is the size of the back of your frame. If you want to make it easy, you can sketch the back of your frame. So take your frame, place it down to the bottom corner. Make sure there's, it's right up to the edge on both the bottom and the side. So that would be here and here. See all this excess here, here and here? That's all gonna go bye-bye. With your pencil again, just trace out your frame. All you need to do is trace two sides, short top, long side. You've got your line now here, and all you need to do again, yourself or an adult, cut the two lines. So we've reduced the size of this red construction paper to the exact size of the backing of the picture frame. And when you have this cut, we're gonna now get ready to use whatever device of glue or choice that you wanna use, hot glue gun, Cold glue gun or just regular Elmer's glue is also usable. Just keep in mind not to put too much Elmer's glue down because it'll spread too far over and drip onto the inside of the picture frame. I'm gonna use a glue gun because it'll just, it'll adhese quicker and it'll be faster for us right now. So with your glue gun, your picture frame still remains upside down, backside, the ugly side up front. And then just dab a couple pieces of sections of glue, four corners, should be enough. But to play it safe, just do a couple dabs along the frame in the middle sections. Can you guys see that? Angela, they could see that, right? It looks like it, yep. Give a thumbs up if you guys are following along. Glue is on there. You guys are on top of it. Perfect. Yeah. So, 
Take that eight by 10 piece of paper, either side's fine, it's not gonna make a difference. Line it up by just taking one edge of the short side and you're gonna line it up to the outside of the frame. On the top and then the sides. Don't, don't push in the middle, okay? Just gently push down on the sides. So the paper it stays to the frame. Excuse me? Yes. Yes. Where does the paper go on the back or the front of the frame? It goes on the back. Thanks. So this is going to be your back side that you won't see. You'll see the inside of it when we flip it over. So watch, I'm going to turn this over. And see now there's the frame that I originally had showed you. Can you see that? Yes. So there's the back. And there's the front. All right. Oh, it looks like Nate and Foster already have theirs on. Does anybody have any questions or a little confused on how to do this step? Oh, Brian and Alex have their hand raised. Yes, they do. Go ahead and unmute yourself. What's your question? Um, how do we mute the key? <laughs> well, you're so excited about the key. So am I, because there's that's the very, very, very last thing we're going to do. I think it's a surprise. It, it'll just make <laughs> it'll make everything make sense when you see everything that we've done. So hold on to that that key because that key is very, very important. It lets you into a lot of different things. Okay. So now what I'd like you to do is take the glitter keyhole that you already cut out and your glue again, your, whatever method you choose to use, we are now gonna put glue on the back. But before we do that, let's think about this. Where do you want this keyhole to go? It could go anywhere, right? It could go in the middle. It can go on the side. It can go on an angle. This is your choice now, because this is now where you as an artist get to create your masterpiece, however you choose to. So think about where you want it to go first, confirm with what, where you want it, and then we're gonna put the glue on the white side of the keyhole, and then we're gonna place it onto the red paper, the backing of the inside of the frame, and you'll decide where you want it to go. So make sure you know where you want it to go before you put it down, because once it's down, it stays down. So I'm gonna put the glue on the back of mine. Put a little extra glue on this because this paper, as you know, when you, when you cut the glitter was a little much thicker. We wanna make sure it doesn't bend up. I'm gonna put my keyhole right in the center. He's got his already. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. If you're using a glue gun, any strings of glue, just kind of let them get pulled away. Looks like string. Give you guys a moment there. Yeah, it looks like some. The fun part, this is my next favorite part, the fun part, which is building the puzzle building the layers, making the hearts become three-dimensional almost. So I'm gonna move on to taking the hearts that you've painted. So many of you added some great detail to them with the paint pen. And some of you did some great colored pinks and mixed the colors up like I did. So I want you to lay out where you want your hearts to go. So think about this, you could do so many different things. You could put your hearts all around the picture frame. You can have them stacked on top of each other. You can have them on the red backing on the inside by the keyhole. So I'm just gonna start to stack mine. I didn't get a chance because I wanted you all to do the detail. So my hearts don't have the detail like you do, but my finished version, I'll show you in a bit, has all the little details that I took the time earlier to create this project for you. So no gluing yet. Because remember, once you glue, you can't change. So let's begin to stack, and then you can make the changes and shift them or remove them or perhaps put them somewhere else. So I'm gonna 
take my red, my red heart. And I thought the red heart would look really cool on the part that's wood right now, because it stands out. And I'm gonna put a white one down on the corner. Now, when you put the picture, when you put the hearts on the picture frame, you'll notice that the beveled edge on the outside of the picture frame is slightly elevated from the inside of the picture frame. Here's my little trick. Take another heart, see this heart here, see the white heart on the bottom left corner? It tilts in because of the bevel. It won't if you actually layer another heart underneath. This is where we start layering. Um, Josh Waldhead, did you guys have a question? Wild hide. No, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so I'm beginning to put these pairs of two around. Pairs of two. And I'm gonna put now one on the top corner here. Maybe I'll put a white underneath it because the white could kind of look nice on that really bright red on the bottom of the frame. And why not put maybe for me, I thought, oh, I'll put one right here on the paper, right on the paper. But put the one on the paper in the corner, but now you can actually build like a red one on the red and then a white one over there. And then you can start layering them everywhere. This is the, my most favorite part of this because you bring now this to an another dimension. You see what's happening? You got the, the keyhole, which is that bright silver glitter, which is in the center. Then you've got the dull red as the background. And then you have the frame as the, per as the perimeter, the frame. And now you've got these bursts of hearts sort of popping out. So keep layering them where you want. And when you think you're ready, I think my mind's pretty much done. I think I like where my, my hearts are on my, on my piece. Now start to glue them down. Simple dab of glue on the back of each heart. If you've got a double heart, meaning one on the bottom, right there on the top corner, one on the bottom and one on the top, obviously what you would do first is you would take the one on the bottom, dab the glue, and then do the one on the top. So bottom first, top second. So I'm gonna start doing that right now. Push them down onto the frame. And when you do the top one, by the way, make sure the glue on the top heart touches the bottom heart, the glue part. Otherwise it won't stay. Can't wait to see what they all come up with. I know, right? <laughs> They've been so creative. Oh, I do have a couple detailed ones. I'm gonna shift that one there. Everybody is working so hard. Quiet, I like it. <laughs> Means they're concentrating, right? Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you at the very end, the reason for doing this concept, it, it'll make, it'll get, it'll make sense when you hear the story of, I was trying to come up with a way to come up with something really special for Valentine's day for you. And what you might be doing with this, depending on how you choose to keep it. Oh, Nate and Foster already have one put together. Wow. That's cool. Oh, it's pretty. I like that. Nice job. Thomas has got a lot of hearts. Does he? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. You let me know, Angela, where they are. Yeah, it looks like they're all still working on gluing those hearts to the frames. Great. Looks like Nate has his hand up. Hi, Nate. Yes, Nate. Um, Foster, he wasn't really doing the whole thing. 
So Foster is really left behind. He hasn't got the um the thing cut out. Well, he has it cut out with the gold type of stuff, okay. but he he hasn't got the red background on and the hearts. So we'll catch up. We'll get him caught up. I have no worry. Ooh, it looks like Josh's is finished too. Let's pin them in a spotlight that. Very nice. Oh, that's awesome. Very nice. Let's see, let's see. She's washing her hands. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's Bella. It's Bella. Bella, I, okay, sorry. I'm just reading the name of the well, corner. Yeah, it's my, sorry, it's my account. No worries. That looks I'm great. Where I'm from. That looks really, really good. Oh. Bella, you did an awesome job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Beautiful oh, job. Welcome. Really great. Jason and Ryan have theirs up. Jason, Ryan. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. oh, that looks so good. Good job, guys. Great job. Oh, very nice. That's terrific. And I see you guys got some of the marble look going on there with your hearts. Mm -hmm. you can talk. Very cool. Thank you. I like them. Play, we're showing theirs too. Who is Tammy? There we go. Thanks. Oh, okay. that looks beautiful. Those are all so creative. That was a cookie sun. Yes, I'll get you. Oh, that looks terrific too. Oh. Guys are doing such a great job. Oh, we got another one over here. That's Tommy's. That looks great, Tommy. Oh my gosh, that's terrific. That's and very I different. I think it went sideways. That's pretty cool. What was that? She went sideways with hers. Yeah. Oh, she turned it. She flipped it sideways. That looks yep. awesome. Nice. Very cool. It's. Oh, Sawyer has up. Oh, where's Sawyer? Gotta find Sawyer. There you are. Nice. There's Ryan in it for Alex's. There's oh, Sawyer. very oh, nice. That looks terrific. Oh, those are great. That's great. Man, you guys are so creative. Right, Travis has it done. Trip. Oh, Travis, nice job. Awesome. Fantastic. Got Lewis family's done theirs. Ooh. Oh, this is very, oh, how terrific is that looking? Very nice. Right. Every amazing. one is so different from the other. Shamira, did you have a question? Yeah. Yes. Hello. Do do we um we paint the key last? We're not painting the key right now, right? <laughs> It's a love, Ella. Well, we're not. We're actually not going to paint the key at all. But you can if you want to. But it wasn't planned on. Okay. Just make it cool. I don't want them to paint it ahead of time. <laughs> More hearts on or anything. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. If we need the glue gun for anything. Well, yeah. I'd like. I'd like. I gotta make sure we get the other um, blue gun. So, Angela, who is, I keep forgetting now, who is our really super excited holder of the key that wanted to know when the key was next? Do we remember? That would be Ryan and Alex. Oh, Ryan and Alex, can we spotlight them? Of course we can. Got it. Here we go. There they are. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Alex. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So I have a question for you guys. So if you take a key, right? So, you know, a key goes into what? What is a key? Do? It goes into what? Daddy, I will hold it. Yes. 
it goes into the keyhole. Like you have to take the key and you got to turn it into the keyhole to open up the door, right? Yeah. Well, I feel like that kind that what we're doing here is this key is the key to your heart or to the person that you're giving this to. This is the key to their heart for Valentine's Day because you love them. This is that you love yourself when you keep this, or this is a gift for someone that you care very much about. So that's the final piece. The little teeny key goes into a large keyhole because your heart is so filled. So what we're gonna do Love that. with that tiny little key is we're gonna take the ribbon that you have, you have your ribbon and you need to cut it about 12 inches. You can do it a little smaller if you want. There's no wrong or right to this one. So I'm just gonna cut my, my ribbon. Inches. Your ribbons were already measured to 12 inches, so you guys are good. Wait, wait, he's, he's on mute. Yes. You have your ribbon, you have your tiny little key, which goes to your big heart. Take the ribbon and just string it through, kind of like an ornament for a Christmas tree. String it through the top of the keyhole. I'm sorry, top of the key and then just tie a little bow around it. Just tie a knot, I should say. Double knot it. And then do it one more time. Now you have your key on its red ribbon. Once you have that done, Whoever is working with the glue, I'm gonna again use my glue gun. I'm gonna do a little dab of glue. I'm flipping my, my frame over for just a moment. You see my white picture frame here? I mean, my white heart here in the corner. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna dab a little piece of glue on the heart that's sort of hanging off the side on the back intentionally. So you've got the heart on the back that you can't see the back right here, and I'm going to put the ribbon into the glue. That's gonna permanently allow the ribbon to stay behind the frame. Doesn't have to be in the back, could be in the front. I'm gonna flip it back over. Now I flipped my frame back over. And now I have all this extra ribbon. See all this loose ribbon here? Doesn't need to be doing nothing. The whole idea is dab a little glue, tiny little glue anywhere you want and take the ribbon and you see this the ribbon has a little curve to it grab a piece of it dab it onto the glue take your glue whether you're using an elmer glue or you're using a glue gun dab it somewhere else i'm gonna dab it on this one right here this part Keep it loose. By doing that, it creates movement like water with the ribbon. And we're gonna just put a little push into the glue there. And then one more, I have, I have room for one more spot to do it. Now I think my key, where it winds up ending on my piece of art here, should be kind of close to the keyhole. So I'm going to dab the glue right here on this particular heart. And I'm going to glue the actual key, not the ribbon, the key to the heart. Right there. So your ribbon is just creating another layer of texture and movement to the design. This was the one I had done. This is another one that I did.
And there is your love Valentine piece of art craft that you can give to someone or add it to your wall of art that you might have in your house or your room that you've made. Like we have little things that our kids have made since they were teeny that sometimes we thought they were beautiful then, even the now things that they create today are even more incredible, but we keep them up. Or this could be a gift for someone. There you go. Who's That's Ryan and Alex. Let me see again. Beautiful. Great job. It looks really awesome. Sawyer's up, Bella's up. Nice, Sawyer. Very nice. Looks so yeah. good. You guys are so talented. Lucia and Danielle. Let's see. Oh, pretty. Oh, that looks great. Nice job. Very great. pretty. They're great. Oh, this pretty. is ours. Good. Oh, I love it. That's another one. Um, hi, this is my thing. I put my key down here to look like I'm opening it. Beautiful. Great job. Really beautiful. All right. Who else is finished? If you are, you can raise your hand. Thank you, Tommy. Oh, Penny Thank looks like she's finished. Picture. Oh, oh nicely done. Oh, I love the glitter, Penny. Oh, she put extra glitter on. <laughs> and different colored paints. Yep. Look at that. Oh, the glitter girl. I love it. So good. Come here, are you finished? Oh, no, it looks like you're working on writing on your hearts. Big pass up. Oh, Bella's finished. And Travis is up. Travis is up. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Travis, that's great. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I put my key was hanging here. See, I put my key to hang so it could hang on the wall and hang it for Valentine's Day. Yeah. What am I saying? Very good. Oh. Wait till we're done. So oh, good, guys. Perfect. Just a second. We'll be done in a minute. This one. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. I want to show mine. Wait a minute. We got a black frame, too. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Oh, oh. nice. Oh. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Nicely done, guys. Ow. Grayson, that's lovely. The orange looks great. These are so cool. So good. Born ladies, those turned out beautiful. Yeah, they did. Look at all these kids, Tommy. Oh. oh, that's pretty. That's really colorful. Stacy, that's very colorful. Look, she made flowers out of her hearts. Oh. Aww. <laughs> No, they did. Logan made flowers. Grab it now, it hurts. Not to be. <laughs> so neat. Grand finale. All right, well, I'm hoping by the time we're all finished, we can do a big gallery view and try and get a snapshot of everyone holding up their frames. Here it comes. Stand here. Stay here until we get the picture, please. And if you guys could send us pictures of your finished frames, that would be wonderful. Oh. Travis, show me yours again. I didn't see it. I missed it. Travis? Oh. Awesome. Really awesome. I love it. Okay. Thank you. Great job, guys. All right, guys, in the chat box, I just put in, if you post it on uh, Facebook, there's an uh, at 
symbol of special love camp and then also our drop box where you can throw it in there directly. Well, look at Ben and Emily. Look at those. That, those are beautiful. Yeah, and Danielle as well. I'm loving all this little extra pop of color you guys are coming up with. Ryan would like to show hers. Jason and Ryan are getting their Come see. Come stand so you can be in their picture, please. Nice. <laughs> For those that have their screens off, how are you guys doing? We can't see how you're doing. Uh, look how different everybody's looks. I like yours without the with the light wood on it. Good contrast, honey. Good job, Anna and Johnny. I'm looking at them now. They look great. We'll sort of went sideways as well. We do have some still working hard. I see Abby's working hard. <laughs> yeah. Like Thomas family still working on theirs. If I to check out, Angela put a drop box link in the website if you'd send us a picture of your finished frames with your smiling faces or share it at, at special love camps on facebook yeah. dropbox is really easy to use you just drag the picture on over oh, sorry i got out the snowman oh, <laughs> oh i love it sawyer so good. Those are great. You're welcome. And when you have a baby, everything I put in his mouth, he will devour. He would eat. And who so else is still working? Let's see if we can probably get a group shot. Let's see. I think most everyone is finished. You guys want to try and do a group shot? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's take that off gallery all right so if everyone holds up their frames make sure we can still see your smiling faces i know it's kind of hard we got to get creative and then on the count of three say cheese all right ready one two three all right and one more one two three awesome you guys got those such are nice terrific. Faces. That's great, guys. Really great. Looks David, good. thank you so much for another great uh, craft. These oh, are you're so well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.